Welcome to my creative time with Emma. Today I'm going to be um, showing you how I designed this card in my gypsy um, that I'm doing for the Peachy King Challenge this week. Um, we're going to be I'm going to be featuring this stamp set from Peach. This is another new stamp set from them, and this one is called Bunny Dolls. Yeah, Bunny Dolls PK PK two six five. This is uh, one of their newer stamp set also. So I'm going to be using this bunny for my card, and we're going to be using, they have two sentiments, Big Easter Bunny Hugs and I Love You This Much. We're going to be using I Love You This Much, okay? I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did this on my Gypsy. Okay, here we go, all laid out on a 24 by 12 mat. As you could see, I wanted to make sure I had enough room for all the layers that I will be using for my card. For the two cartridges I did use for this was George in Basic Shapes and Tie the Knot. I had gotten the, I made the shape here of the card using, you know, that little unleak feature. So I went ahead, the size of this, um, of this from up and down is 10 inches and the width is five and a half so when you close the card the actual card side is going to be a five by five and a half card so I went ahead and I got this shape from tie the knot so what I did is what I put it in here so when you, we cut out the card I also welded this part together so when you cut it out it will have a little window I did the same for this also I got the square from uh, George and basic shapes and I went ahead and I that square is sized 4.75 so 4.75 by five and a quarter across and I went ahead and also welded that in there so when I cut out that pattern paper for this it as you could see it will um, layer over that perfectly okay now for this one here this one I didn't do welding because this one um, this little rectangle shape here that I cut out here is 3.31 inches across and up and down is four and a half. What I want this to do is I want it when it cuts out, I'm not going to weld it because I don't want it to all cut out together. I want it to cut out where this little window, a little portion of it cuts out so this part could layer, it's going to layer right here so we could go ahead and follow the sketch that Peachy Keen has for this um, challenge this week and for this one here I just went ahead and I made a frame so what I did is I got this same size put it in the middle and I made a bigger one on the outside and I welded it together so this frame will fit perfectly over this so let's I ready I went ahead and I cut everything out so let's go ahead and put it together now okay here are um, the pieces I went ahead and I cut out the base of my card in white confetti cardstock and I went ahead and I scored it here at five inches and I went ahead and I stamped my little Benny already so what I did was I went ahead and I took a pencil and I traced the inside of the frame and you can see I traced it there just so when I do um, stamp the Benny it would be perfectly in there so I'm gonna go ahead and erase my little um, pencil mark right now Okay, there we go. That's all erased. And what I did with him, I went ahead and I used my Copic markers to color them in. These are the Copic markers I use. I got a couple of questions, which ones I use, and it is, I use these. I like these because if you can see, there's a variety of different colors, and I like them because they kind of match the bold brights of the Stappin' Up cardstock, and they work perfect for me. So this is what I use. And the color I used to color in the little ears was this color here, this blush color. I used that color for the little ears, and I used this right here, this, um, what is this one? I think this is the cool gray. Yeah, the cool gray number one. This is not included with this set. That's actually separate. And I used that for like the little shadow around him and then I use my my regular like I use all the time the Stampin' Pastels chalk the pink chalk for the little uh, cheeks and for the tummy so I kinda went ahead and I 
prepared him already. So let's go ahead and put the rest of it together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the first layer on. I want to make sure it's perfect. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's the first layer. And the second layer, before I add that, I want to go ahead and put a little piece of ribbon around that. And this is Plum Pudding Ribbon by Paper Tray, Paper Tray Ink. I love this color. And I I'm actually running low. I'm going to have to place an order on that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tie this bow here. I don't have any rules about tying my ribbon, my bows. I just pretty much just kind of play with it until it gets the right way. Let's see, let's see. Okay, actually that came out pretty good. So let me go ahead and just make these a little bit short. I don't want them too long because I don't want to cover up the bunny when we put them on, when we put the card together. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and use my little ducky tape again. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer that. Perfect. Alrighty. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our little frame here. And I'm going to, to put on the frame, I'm using this here, the Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. I love this stuff. So let's go ahead and just put this on the frame. Alright, and I went ahead and I did the stitching as you could see. Um, again, I used my favorite here. This is the, where is the camera? I'm not sure if you could see it or not, but this is the white gel, the jelly roll white gel pen that I like to use my stitching. So I'm going to go ahead and trim my little ribbon here. And I went ahead and I stamped my sentiment on here. Let me grab it really quick. I didn't actually stamp it on here. I already stamped it on this little paper here, on this little cardstock, and I also did the little stitching around it. And I'm going to go ahead and use these little dimensionals. They're called scrapbook adhesives. I, adhesives. I got these from Michael. Okay, let me put this here. I love these. I used to get the ones from the dollar store because I thought that was such an awesome deal, but like they say, you get what you pay for because later on, my stuff was coming apart, so I no longer use those. Okay, here we go. And this is going to go right here. Perfect in this corner. And then one last thing I have, a little ribbon for my little girl, Benny. I thought she needed a little hair accessory. So let me go ahead and flip this over. And we're going to put this on right there for her. And let me use my little bone folder to make sure this... Okay, there we go. That is our card for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you back here soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.